Well, away from that, it has been five days of painful wait for survivors of the Solai Dam tragedy. While some families have positively identified bodies of their loved ones for burial, others still gaze upon the skies for hopes of recovering bodies of their kin. Our reporter, Elphas Lagat, will shortly be giving us an update on what is the latest from Solai, what is life like after that particular tragedy that swept houses after the Patel Dam um, uh, broke its banks. Our reporter, El Elphas Lagat, will be joining us shortly. But before we get the latest updates, let's speak to uh, Dr. Joseph Gitao. He's a psychologist. He's joining us by way, for, uh, by way of phone, live from Kiambu. A very good afternoon to you, sir. Thank you for joining us. As we take a look at the victims and what this really means for them, what are some of the things we should be doing right now for the victims? Uh, thank you, Akita. Um, the most important thing at this moment is to look at their needs as human beings. Obviously, they have been displaced from their homes. They have no uh, facilities of any kind, maybe clothing, maybe food, all kinds of uh, normal comfort that every human being expects. And so uh, helping them to be in a situation they feel uh, you know, they can return to normal be very, very important. You know, giving them what they need most, their basic needs, safety, uh, security, of course, a sense of uh, belonging, and not letting them feel like they have been abandoned both by nature and by their fellow men. This is a tragedy that largely affected children as well. Um, uh, there are some who were rescued, some were unlucky. They died in this particular tragedy. These are children that have friends in that particular area, their members or their friends have died. In terms of just taking care of the children who are caught in the midst of this tragedy, what kind of psychological support do they need? Well, they need reassurance, uh, a lot of reassurance that uh, what has happened may be an isolated as much as it's a tragic uh, event and that uh, there are people who care and who are willing to go out of their way to, uh, you know, to help them, you know, to be as comfortable as it can possibly be, to feel wanted, to feel um, cared for. And any concerns they may have, uh, you know, any feelings that they feel that uh, uh, have to do with the losses they have, uh, uh, they have uh, undergone can be uh, understood and explained to them. You know, the reality of what has happened cannot, uh, you know, cannot be ignored. And so they must be helped to see that uh, that's something no one could have prevented. But yet we are doing whatever we can under the circumstances to support them and to be at their, you know, to be available to them for whatever they may need. So for both the children and um, the parents, or just those who've lost, lost even multiple loved ones, what kind of efforts should be made um, to help them in this very tragic incident or aftermath? Well, obviously, the basic needs are important. They need a, a place, you know, they need facilities where they can be comfortable. They need care. They need, uh, uh, you know, food. Uh, those are simply basics. But beyond that, they must also be helped to deal with the tragedy, to deal with the losses, to deal with the pain they're going through. Not necessarily telling them a lot about uh, the issues, but listening to them, what they are concerned about, what they are worried about the anxiety they are going through at this moment and to help them to deal with the shock of this uh, very, very unexpected uh, development. Thank you for speaking to us here on KTN News. Just Dr. Joseph Gitao is a psychologist as we just take a look at what are some of the psychological needs that uh, victims of the Solai tragedy will need um, uh, five days after that particular incident. Let's now take a look at sports.